Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Jana Martinez, and today I'm gonna to show you how I crochet this gorgeous pineapple shawl. Please check out the description box below for links to the pattern and everything I'm using in this video. Now let's get started. Here I have chosen some plum colored worsted weight cotton blend yarn. This is about 450 grams worth. I also have an F 3.75 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle for weaving an end. To begin, create a slip knot. Now chain six. We're going to slip stitch to our very first chain to form a ring. So insert your hook into that first chain, grab your working yarn and pull it through, and then through the loop on your hook. Row one, chain three. Now double crochet two into this ring. To double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through the second two loops for a double crochet. And we're gonna do that again. Chain two, and now we're going to do three double crochet into the same ring. Now there we have a beginning shell made. So this chain three at the beginning does count as our first double crochet. So technically we have three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Moving right along, we're going to chain two. Now we're going to make another shell. So we're going to double crochet three, chain two, and three more double crochet into the same ring. So in this pattern, they're calling that a shell. Three double crochet, chain two, three more double crochet. So that's what the work looks like so far. To begin row two, chain three, and turn your work. Now we're going to shell into this chain two space. And again, our shell is double crochet three, chain two, double crochet three. So I'm gonna start off with my first three double crochet. Chain two, one, two, and three more double crochet. Now chain three. And then double crochet into this chain two space. So this is our middle chain two space. and then chain three again. Now we can shell into this chain two space. Here is row two complete, and this is a little odd, but we're just gonna leave that open. So at this point, we're just gonna turn and begin row three. To begin row three, chain three. 
turn your work and shell into this chain two space. Chain two and three more double crochet into the same space. Of course, to finish our shell. Now chain three. You're going to double crochet into this second chain of this chain three space here. So I'm counting one, two, and I'm gonna double crochet. Chain three again. And into this space right here, we're also going to double crochet into this second chain. Chain three. And shell into this chain two space. And there is row three, all finished. Chain three to begin row four. Turn your work and shell into this first chain two space. Now chain three. And we're gonna skip over this first chain three space and this double crochet. And we're going to double crochet 11 into this chain three space. So our middle chain three space, we're going to place 11 double crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you do that. And then we can meet back up for the last step. There are my 11 double crochet. And it is a little bit of a squish to get them all onto that chain but you can slide your stitches. They do move so you can slide them around to make room. Now we're going to chain three and end this row with a shell into this chain two space. So I will show you how my finished row looks. And here is row four all finished. To begin row five, chain three and turn your work. Now you want to shell in shell and then chain three. And then into these double crochet right here, we're going to do a little increase. So into this first double crochet right here, we're going to place two double crochet. One, two, and then double crochet one into each of the following stitches until you get to the very last double crochet, and then you're also going to increase into that one. So place two double crochet into this very last stitch. So once we get over there, I'll meet back up. Here I am just placing my last two double crochet. Both into the same stitch. And now I have a total of 13 double crochet. Chain three, and then shell into shell. And there is row five, all finished. To begin row six, chain three, turn, and then shell in shell. Now here is row six, I have chain three, and then placed my shell in shell. Chain three. You're going to single crochet into this very first double crochet. To single crochet, insert your hook, grab your yarn and pull up a loop. We have two loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through both loops for the single crochet. Now chain three. And skip one double crochet. And single crochet into the following stitch. And we're gonna do that again. Chain three. Skip one double crochet and single crochet into the following stitch. 
You're gonna do this four more times for a total of six of these chain three loops. When we have finished that, I'll meet back up for the last step. So there are my six loops. And to finish off this row, you're just going to chain three and shell in shell. And here is row six complete. To start row seven, chain three, turn, and shell in shell. After doing that, you're ready to chain five. Then single crochet into this very first chain three right here of the pineapple. So not this separating chain three, but the six of the six loops here. We're gonna turn this six loops into five loops. Chain three, single crochet into the next chain three space and repeat that four more times. So now I have a total of five of these chain three loops of the pineapple portion of the work. And now you're going to just mirror what we did over here, chain five, and then shell in shell. Here is the end of row seven, all finished. To begin row eight, I have chained three and turned. Now row eight is going to be a double shell so that's going to be an increased row. We're going to place two shells into this chain two space. So a shell, chain two, and then another shell. So there is one shell complete. I have chain two, and now I'm going to begin my second shell. And there are both shells complete. So we have our first shell right here, and then the chain two spacer, and then the second shell right here. Chain five. And now we're going to go from five of these chain three loops to four. Single crochet into your very first chain three of the pineapple. Then chain three and single crochet into the following loop. You're going to do this three more times, and then I'll meet back up with you over here. So here's our pineapple. It's coming along quite nicely, the base of the pineapple. And as we go less and less in chain three loops, it's gonna to come to a point like this. And then we have these shells on each side, and you see the double shell is going to go, so we're going like this down here. So this is basically a double shell right here. It is a double shell. And then we're going up and then double shell. And then into that space right here, it's going to open up and another pineapple is gonna grow out of here. So to complete this row, we're going to just copy what we did over here, chain five, and then into your shell right here, do a double shell. So shell, chain two, shell. There is row eight, all finished. To begin row nine, chain three, and turn your work. Now shell into this first chain two space. We're basically going to be doing exactly what we did on row two. So you see we did a shell into the first chain two space, then we chained three, double crochet into that middle chain two space, chain three, and of course, shell into the last chain two space. So we're gonna be doing that right here, and then also again on this side. So first off, make your first shell. After that's all finished, you're going to chain three, then double crochet into this middle chain two space, chain three again, and then shell into this remaining chain two space. And here's what that looks like. Now chain five.
single crochet into your first chain three loop. Chain three, and single crochet into the next chain three loop. And we're going to do this once, twice more. So we're going down to three, chain three loops on row nine. And now we're going to repeat what we did here over on this side. So start off with a chain of five. And then into this first chain two space, you're going to make a shell. Then chain three, and double crochet into the middle chain two space. Then chain three. Shell into your last chain two space. So there is row nine, all finished right here. And as you see, it looks just like row two, which is right here. So we're opening up two more spaces there's one here and one here for two more pineapples to grow out of. And then these shells here are going to be closing up for this pineapple here. Thank you so much for watching. To see row 10 through 16 of this three-part tutorial, make sure to see part two.